Hello, my name is Christina Farrell. I'm guessing you're probably hearing my name for the first time, so I will say it again. Hello, my name is Christina Farrell, and it's great to have this chance to introduce myself to you. But what if you were hearing my name for the first time in a different way? Like on the radio, singing the next top 40 hit, it's Christina Farrell, or on the nightly news. Christina Farrell is wanted in a local crime spree, or in a meme. Hmm, what would you assume about me? Do you think you'd know my story? What if you didn't know my name at all and I just walked by you on the street one day? Would you even wonder about my story? Our story begins right here with the Kaleidoscope series at the Gallagher Blue Dorn. Your class is going to see a play called Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad, written by Douglas Jones, with music by Ron Barnett, and produced by Virginia Repertory Theater. Harriet Tubman was an amazing woman who transformed American history. You'll learn all about her life during the play, but let's start by thinking about how we tell stories. Let's begin with a little brainstorm. How many ways are there to tell someone's story? A story could be someone's whole life story or maybe just one little thing that happened to them. How would you learn about someone from history or a celebrity? Think about how you'd learn about something that happened this week to a person in your family or someone all the way on the other side of the world. And how do you record your own stories? So take about one minute to write down as many ideas as you can. How many ways are there to tell someone's story? Try to name at least 10 ways, or can you think of 20? So grab some paper and a pencil to write your ideas down. And we're going to be writing a lot of ideas together, so you'll probably want to grab a notebook with a lot of empty pages. I'll work on my own list while you write your list, and I'll see you in about one minute. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And we're back. How many ways did you come up with to tell somebody's story? Did you come up with at least 10? More? Well, I was trying to think of all the ways that Harriet Tubman's story has been told over the years. So let's see what I came up with. You are going to be learning about Harriet Tubman's story through a play, which is about an author who wrote a biography, who wrote the book after she had a conversation with Harriet's parents. So that's three ways. And both the play and the biography tell stories from other sources, including interviews, newspaper articles, government documents, letters, photos, quotes, songs, even a wanted poster. But there's more. Even about 200 years after Harriet Tubman's birth, her story is still being told in a whole bunch of ways, through textbooks, children's books, graphic novels, animated cartoons, political cartoons, paintings, movies, TV shows, radio shows, maps, magazine articles, monuments, poetry, museum exhibits, historical reenactments, lectures, apps, websites, memes, social media, YouTube videos, blogs, music videos, and TikTok. <laughs> that brings me to 35 ways, and I'm sure I've missed some. Were there any ideas on your list that I've forgotten? Huh, well, 
stories must be pretty important if we find so many ways to tell them. And Harriet Tubman's story must be especially important for us to still be telling it so many years and in so many ways. So why do stories matter? How do stories change the world? And how might stories keep us alive? Keep thinking about those questions as we dig into Harriet Tubman's story. Let's start with just one moment from one scene in Harriet Tubman's life as performed by Virginia Repertory Theater. Theater artists have lots of tools to tell stories. The playwright begins by putting words down on the page, but words alone don't tell the story in the theater. The actors make choices about how they move and speak. The director chooses the overall vision for the play and makes choices about how the actors interact with each other and how the space is used on the stage. The lighting, set, costume, and sound designers reinforce the mood of the play and create a sense of where the story takes place. All of their choices help shape the story that is being told and create the experience that the audience has. We're going to look at a photo from the play and see what we can figure out about how Harriet Tubman's story is told based on the clues that the theater artists have given. Get your paper and your pencil so you can write down your observations. You'll use what you write to create a little story of your own. Okay, let's take a look. What do you see in this photo that might give us clues about Harriet Tubman's story? Let's start with the sets, lights, and costumes. I notice the actors are not wearing modern clothes, so that's a clue that this story takes place in the past. I see trees and a moon in the background, so it would seem like some of the story takes place outside. But there's also a wooden structure what do you think that might represent? Write down some words to describe the setting of the story. Where and when does this moment take place? I also notice that it is mostly dark on stage with only a few patches of light. What mood or feeling does this choice create for you? Write words to describe the mood of this scene. How would it feel to be in this place? Now look at the actors. How do they use their body language and facial expressions to communicate emotions? Write down the emotions that you see. Now take a look at what you wrote. Which words jump out to you? Choose three words that seem to capture the story of this scene the best. For me, those words are determined, unknown, and nighttime. Wow, just those three words begin to tell an interesting story. Determined, unknown, nighttime. Now, let's use those words to create a one-sentence story about this scene. My sentence might be, determined travelers head into the nighttime to discover the unknown. Oh wait, that does not quite line up with the mood of the scene for me, so maybe I just need to say it a little differently. Determined travelers head into the nighttime to discover the unknown. Yeah, that seems to capture the mood better. Okay, your turn. Write your own one sentence story using the three words you selected that describes what you think might be happening in this scene. Once you've written your sentence, speak it out loud. How would you say your sentence to create the mood? How would you stand or move? Take one minute and write and speak your one sentence story.
Now we have one sentence to begin our journey into Harriet Tubman's story. Nice work. How did you speak your sentence? Forcefully? Quietly? Mysteriously? What kind of facial expression did you use? So stories just aren't told through words. How we say things, our tone of voice, facial expressions, body language, are all part of how we tell and receive stories. Just like the theater designers create moods through lighting sets and sounds, the things that we sense in our environment are part of stories too. So if you look back at the list you made of all the different ways that people tell stories, how many of them use more than just words? Instagram posts, for instance, rely on pictures to capture people's attention. People include emojis and texts to add facial expressions to those little stories. Songs are stories that use music to create emotion. Movies and TV shows wouldn't be the same without music to heighten the emotions in those stories. And sometimes, where we are impacts how a story is told. For instance, a ghost story feels really different if it's told on a playground on a sunny day compared to being told late at night around a crackling campfire. Can you think of a story that's really stuck with you? What was it about that story that made it stand out? What made you care about the story? We'll continue learning more about Harriet Tubman in the next video. Until then, keep adding to your list of the ways that people tell stories. Pay attention to the stories being told around you and notice how they're being told. Could any of those stories change the world? We'll see you next time.